Welcome to Cryptic Mystic Vault. Today we will uncover the Shakespeare authorship question. It's a puzzle that has captivated scholars and enthusiasts for centuries. Could the man from Stratford-upon-Avon, with his humble beginnings, truly be the literary genius behind Hamlet, King Lear, and Romeo and Juliet? Or did someone else, someone shrouded in shadow, pen these timeless masterpieces? The debate is far from a mere academic exercise. It strikes at the heart of how we understand genius, authorship, and the very nature of creativity. If Shakespeare wasn't who we thought he was, what does that say about the power of language, the allure of anonymity, and the possibility that history's greatest stories might be hiding in plain sight? The stakes are high. Unraveling this mystery could reshape our understanding of Elizabethan England, challenge long-held assumptions about literary history, and even alter the way we interpret the plays themselves. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of the Shakespeare authorship question, exploring the evidence, the arguments, and the enduring allure of this literary enigma. William Shakespeare. The name conjures images of a literary titan a master wordsmith who gave voice to the human condition with unparalleled eloquence. But the man himself remains an enigma, his life a tapestry woven with threads of fact and speculation. Born in Stratford-upon-Avon in 1564, Shakespeare's early life is shrouded in mystery. We know he married Anne Hathaway and had three children. We know he eventually made his way to London, where he found success as an actor, playwright, and shareholder in the Lord Chamberlain's Men, later known as the King's Men. Yet, for all his fame, Shakespeare left behind a surprisingly scant paper trail. We have no personal diaries, no letters revealing his creative process, no definitive portrait painted from life. This lack of biographical detail has fueled speculation, leading some to question whether Shakespeare was truly the author of the works attributed to him. The traditional narrative paints Shakespeare as a man of the theatre, a keen observer of human nature who drew inspiration from the world around him. He was a shrewd businessman, a collaborator with fellow playwrights, and a respected figure in Elizabethan society. But was this enough to produce the literary masterpieces that bear his name? Or does the mystery surrounding Shakespeare's life hint at a deeper, more complex truth? For centuries, William Shakespeare's authorship went largely unquestioned. His name adorned the title pages of plays and poems, and his contemporaries lauded his literary genius. But beneath the surface of acceptance, seeds of doubt were beginning to sprout. The first whispers of scepticism emerged in the 18th century. Scholars, struck by the perceived gap between Shakespeare's humble origins and the sophistication of his writing, began to raise questions. How could a man with limited formal education possess such a vast vocabulary, such deep knowledge of history, law, and courtly life? The rise of Romanticism, with its emphasis on individual genius and the power of the imagination, further fueled these doubts. Shakespeare's works were seen as transcending time and place, their author a solitary figure touched by divine inspiration. This image clashed with the historical reality of Shakespeare as a working playwright deeply embedded in the collaborative world of Elizabethan theatre. As the 19th century dawned, the Shakespeare authorship question gained momentum. New theories emerged, proposing alternative candidates for the authorship of the plays. These theories, often fueled by a mix of genuine intellectual curiosity and thinly veiled class prejudice, questioned whether a man of Shakespeare's social standing could possess the genius to have written such the seeds of doubt once sown took root and flourished, giving rise to a debate that continues to this day. The early skeptics of Shakespeare's authorship were a diverse group. They included scholars, writers, and even prominent figures like Mark Twain and Sigmund Freud. While their reasons for doubting varied, they shared a common belief that the historical William Shakespeare lacked the necessary background and intellect to have produced the literary masterpieces attributed to him. One of the earliest and most vocal doubters was Delia Bacon, an American writer who argued that the plays were actually the work of a group of intellectuals led by Sir Francis Bacon. She pointed to hidden messages and coded language within the texts as evidence of this conspiracy. Another prominent skeptic was Edward Dellenbar, who believed that the true author was Christopher Marlowe, 
a brilliant but troubled playwright who died under mysterious circumstances in 1593. Dellenbaugh argued that Marlowe's death was faked and that he continued to write under the pseudonym William Shakespeare. These early doubters faced an uphill battle. The traditional view of Shakespeare's authorship was deeply entrenched and their theories were often dismissed as eccentric or lacking in evidence. Yet they succeeded in planting the seeds of doubt, paving the way for future generations to challenge the accepted narrative. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries and thrilling adventures into the past.